Good morning and welcome to Meditating the Word. If you have found it challenging to read the Bible consistently, I've got exciting news. In just about 20 minutes a day, we are reading through the entire Bible this year. I'm Cherie, here to walk alongside you on this journey. Whether you are a longtime student of the Word or just setting foot on this path, I'm delighted to have you with us. We are in our 11th month and are now diving into the wisdom of the New Testament. We only have two more days in the Gospels. This is day 318. Today we finish reading the Gospels of Matthew and Mark. Matthew chapter 28 and Mark 16 from the World English Bible. Ready to uncover what God has for us today? Let's get started. The Good News or Gospel According to Matthew, Chapter 28 Now after the Sabbath, as it began to dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. Behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from the sky and came and rolled away the stone from the door and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. The angel answered the women, Don't be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus, who has been crucified. He is not here, for he has risen, just like he said. Come, see the place where the Lord was lying. Go quickly and tell his disciples, He has risen from the dead, and behold, he goes before you into Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. They departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to bring his disciples' word. As they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them, saying, Rejoice! They came and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Don't be afraid. Go tell my brothers that they should go into Galilee, and there they will see me. Now while they were going, behold, some of the guards came into the city and told the chief priests all the things that had happened. When they were assembled with the elders and had taken counsel, they gave a large amount of silver to the soldiers, saying, Say that his disciples came by night and stole him away while we slept. If this comes to the governor's ears, we will persuade him and make you free of worry. So they took the money and did as they were told. This saying was spread abroad among the Jews and continues until today. But the eleven disciples went into Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had sent them. When they saw him, they bowed down to him, but some doubted. Jesus came to them and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I commanded you. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. The Good News or Gospel According to Mark Chapter 16 When the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome bought spices that they might come and anoint him. Very early on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb when the sun had risen. They were saying among themselves, Who will roll away the stone from the door of the tomb for us? For it was very big. Looking up, they saw that the stone was rolled back. Entering into the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, dressed in a white robe, and they were amazed. He said to them, Don't be amazed. You seek Jesus, the Nazarene, who has been crucified, He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter, 
He goes before you into Galilee. There you will see him, as he said to you. They went out and fled from the tomb, for trembling and astonishment had come on them. They said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. Now when he had risen early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, from whom he had cast out seven demons. She went and told those who had been with him, as they mourned and wept. When they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they disbelieved. After these things, he was revealed in another form to two of them as they walked on their way into the country. They went away and told it to the rest. They didn't believe them either. Afterward, he was revealed to the eleven themselves as they sat at the table, and he rebuked them for their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they didn't believe those who had seen him after he had risen. He said to them, Go into all the world and preach the good news to the whole creation. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who disbelieves will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with new languages. They will take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will in no way hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. So then the Lord, after he had spoken to them, was received up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. They went out and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word by the signs that followed. Amen. Father God, this is our victory. Jesus died on the cross, bearing our sin, guilt, and shame. The full curse laid upon him, with all of its diseases and poverty and spiritual death. But that wasn't the end of the story. He rose from the grave victorious, and in him we have victory over the enemy. Thank you for your faithfulness, for the faithfulness of Jesus. Thank you that we have been given the authority to speak in Jesus' name to be filled with Holy Spirit, to preach the good news, to cast out demons, and to lay hands on the sick. We are the hands and feet of Jesus in the earth. Amen. Thank you for being a part of Meditating the Word today. As we turn another page on our journey, remember that God's Word is meant to be a part of your daily life. Faith grows as we listen to the Word, and revelation knowledge comes as we reflect and meditate on what we've read and let it take root in our hearts. I'm so grateful for this shared time with you. This is Cherie, reminding you that you are in my prayers. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Until next time, be blessed and be a blessing.